war on and off wheels. Bike advocates say they want to see more bicycle lanes in the city, but some neighbors in the Gwynn Falls area say they don't. And those neighbors say those bike lanes just cause another fork in the road for drivers. As WJZ is live at 11 o'clock tonight, Kelsey Kushner on your corner along Gwynn Falls Parkway. And Kelsey, break down this debate for us. Well, Vic, Rick, Gwynn Falls Parkway is a very busy road. Neighbors tell me that cars are constantly speeding up and down it, not to mention parking can sometimes be very difficult to find. And they tell me tonight that the idea of the city building bike lanes is driving them crazy. I'm very familiar with this neighborhood, and I love this neighborhood. But what Doc yeah, Cheatham yeah. says he doesn't love is the idea of adding bike lanes along Gwynn Falls Parkway. It's not enough room. Why would we be decreasing the amount of space we need? If anything, we need more space. Cheatham says neighbors who live along the busy parkway and surrounding streets are urging leaders to shut down any plans of building bike lanes. Neighbors say not only would it cause more congestion, and this is an already narrow street, but the narrow navigation and limited parking will only get worse. Back in 2015, Baltimore's bike master plan was launched with the transportation department committed to installing at least 16 miles. Have separated bike lanes every two years by 2030, with the goal of helping cyclists like Jonathan get around the city faster. I think it's something that can speed up all traffic. It's just safer for everyone to have a dedicated space for bikes. But the city's plan has fallen short, with only about a fourth of its goal completed. And neighbors like Kelly Bigelow say they now want to see DOT focus on other improvements instead. Not against bike lanes at all. I think our concern is that there is so much more that our neighborhoods. Need. Now, back in December, the city completed a major project along Central Avenue, the final phase of that project ending in Harbor East. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ.